us. Each and every one of us. This must not go on. This injustice must end. An increase in the number of terrorist attacks highlights the danger posed by augmented citizens. I once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. Help me! Sometimes, you just have to let go, and embrace what you've become. They've worked from the shadows for years, shaping the future, manipulating lives, controlling information. Innocents have died as they play their game. We will not sit idly by and allow our rights to be eroded out of fear and ignorance any longer. We will not be herded into ghettos and treated as outcasts. We will stop at nothing. The world is different now. The old rules no longer apply. So much pain. So many lies. Their darkness must end. This should be your fight as well, brother. The promise of a golden age is over! advancing at a phenomenal rate. Artificial eyes to cybernetic limbs. The promise of a better future. We now have the choice to free ourselves from any kind of limitation. Strength, power, speed. Now I focus on what really matters. Have these augmentations really been there tested? There are people who say that what is happening is unnatural, that we're playing God. But people were scared of electricity. And where would the world be without what that? What happens if this technology falls into the wrong hands? Diseases or viruses that could wipe out the human race. Seeing the terror of being witnessed world. What kind of madness has gripped the mechanically augmented people? Nine million deaths confirmed and counting. This is an attack on humanity and the universal values that we share. These people were hacked. They had no control. What is the appropriate response? And can we actually protect ourselves from this happening again? I have no idea what happened. I would never... You tried to kill me. At what point will governments consider the idea of segregation for all our sakes? We can be politically correct or we can be foolish. But it's going to get worse and worse. The Czech Republic adds its voice to a growing list of countries calling for the relocation of its augmented citizens. We have citizens. no Reports choice. Reports of severe shortages of the drug neuropathine required to inhibit the rejection of augmentation. And we will fight for our God-given rights to defend our will. In a sign of growing anti-augmentation sentiment, thousands of It doesn't matter how many idiots you get out there on the street. We will not relinquish our limbs. Do you understand? What is happening on this planet is a mess. Fear-mongering and the mainstream media pushing this narrative. The officer suffered severe facial injury. Incident after incident after You need incident. to be afraid because they are coming for you. We will not be made slaves to corporations. We will rise up. To them, we are the enemy. Have you seen what your kind are doing? My kind? You sound just like them. We come to a tipping point. We can't live like this anymore. This violence is completely out of control. Whoa. 
was being paid for this corporate militant state. What do they have planned for us? Why are they building concentration camps? What's going on out there? Reports of multiple states have only one way to deal with these bloodthirsty fanatics. A lot of people die. Now you want to take away our freedom? You will pay for it in blood. Multiple detonations looks like car bombs. The Augmented Rights Coalition denies responsibility. The Separation Act has been passed into law, effective immediately. Augmented persons are being asked to move to safe and secure segregated districts. I don't want them to take me. We are still your neighbors. Your brothers. Your sisters. Who love us. We lost everything. Our dreams. Our innocence. Where are you taking her? Where are you taking her? Our humanity.